Hi everybody, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. A uh, question I've been hearing a lot lately is, how do I choose what shape of diamond I should get for an engagement ring? Well, gee, that's a short question with a long answer. Um, obviously, the first consideration should always be, what does your bride-to-be like? If you've gotten information that, oh, she likes rounds, or she likes princess cuts, or she likes ovals, or whatever the case may be, that should be your guidance, obviously. But if you're not sure, what should you do? Well, there are a few considerations, uh, advantages, that, that one stone shape might have over another that may help you in your decision. Round is, from a physics perspective, from an opti optics perspective, round is the best performing shape of diamond. It will return the most light under standard lighting conditions. So round will be the sparkliest stone. However, it's also the most expensive shape. So you have to decide if you're willing to pay the premium for a round versus any other shape. Uh, let's say you think about an emerald cut or an asher cut or another step cut shape as opposed to a brilliant cut shape. Those shapes will tend to show imperfections more than brilliant cut shapes. So if you're thinking about an emerald or an asher, you may have to go higher in clarity than you would with say a radiant or a princess that have the same outline but a different facet pattern. So that's a consideration you should think about, right? Am I willing to pay the premium for higher clarity to get an emerald or an asher? Maybe you are because they do have that really cool vintage glassy look. And then you have to look at what's popular in the market because by going against market trends, maybe you can save some money. So for example, right now, ovals are very, very popular. Marquees aren't. So if you're thinking maybe a marquise shape stone would be interesting to me, you can save money on that versus an oval or a cushion today because they're less requested. And as a result, people who have them are more willing to part with them at friendly prices. So there's just a few considerations to think about, right? Inherent price differences between different shapes, uh, factors that are not shape related that are driven by shape, like clarity considerations, and then market timing considerations. What's popular right now? And do I want to swim with the stream or against the stream? When you factor all those in, and of course be guided by what you think your bride-to-be would like, ask her friends, ask her sister, ask her mom, somebody knows, that should lead you to the right answer. Hope you guys found that helpful. Again, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. Thanks.